just talking about the line fire. We want to give you an update. It is burning out of control in San Bernardino County. Mandatory evacuations have been ordered for thousands of people and thousands of homes and structures are under threat. KCAL News reporter Tina Patel live near the fire line in Highland with the very latest there. Good morning, Tina. Good morning. And unfortunately, this fire has been burning all night long into the morning. I'm going to step out of the way. This is as you're looking north towards Running Springs, and we see that fire on the edge of the mountainside. This is just one part of the fire. It's actually grown to 17,000 acres. But we can see this morning those moments where the, we, like the flames shoot up into the air. The one good thing from our vantage point is it looks like the smoke is going straight up. It does not look like wind is a factor right now, but we know that may change as the day goes on. I want to show you some video from the last few days because unfortunately this fire has been burning since Thursday evening and it's in an area where there is a lot of dry brush, critically dry is how firefighters describe it to us. And that is why it keeps spreading along with the, the dry temperatures and the winds that we have seen over the past few days. The fires just steadily grown and grown. Now the latest uh, estimate that we have is 17,000 acres have burned. And unfortunately there are a lot of communities that now are getting mandatory evacuation orders, parts of Highland where we are running Springs, Arrow Barrow, those are all under mandatory evacuation orders. There are also evacuation warnings for many mountain communities and the smoke really a big concern for uh, many people who live nearby in the area. They're feeling that as this fire continues to burn. We had a chance to talk to firefighters and they told us these conditions, especially the heat, they've not been easy. The heat affects them tremendously. Um, you know, the work rest cycles, uh, they can work for a little bit, but the body just needs to take a break after a while. The good thing is that the resources are coming in from across the state, more than 600 firefighters on the ground. We've also told that there's helicopters and, and water tenders that are here. They've been helping try to get control of the fire. Unfortunately, the terrain is really un, right now the biggest concern for them. So it is going to be a long day as they deal with the weather that Marina was just talking about. We do know that the governor now has declared a state of emergency. So that is going to help as this firefight moves on to be, in terms of being able to bring resources, be able to have have um, resources to help those who are affected. Right now, Rachel and Sheba, the focus is on getting the fire under control, so we don't even have any estimates of whether there are any homes or structures that have been destroyed or damaged. We have a feeling that just given the size of this fire, that probably is some damage, but it's going to take a while to actually get in and actually see what's going on in these communities. Right now, it's about just trying to get everyone out safely and get the fire under control. Yeah, that is the most important part, and you certainly feel for the residents and the firefighters out there. Tina, thank you so much.